prevent the fire tubes falling through the fire uh, box tube plate on assembly like this we need to prepare the ends now I did do some video actually preparing the ends of the fire tubes but unfortunately that uh, video seems to have taken a walk so I'm just going to do a little demo here and a bit of scrap cover to show you how I did it I just made up this tool it's got a brass roller in that rolls on a pin just a bit of bar with a slot put in drill through and the roller fit it I've just turned up a piece of bar with a, a wrist portion uh, the wrist portion is about a half a millimetre high maybe a little bit more uh, the corners are radius stuff so it's just a case of lining up the groove in the roller with the wrist portion on the bar set the lift to a slow speed place the tube on Try and, try and keep it against the shoulder on the bar apply some pressure let it roll ok so that's what it looks like So I've got another silver soldering set up. I'm attempting to solder the fire tubes to the firebox tube plate and the firebox tube plate to the firebox wrapper all in one go. So I've got a ring of solder around each tube. The problem with it is it's difficult to get in with the solder to try and add more solder. Um, So we'll just have to hope that it works out okay. Ideally I would have preferred to apply the heat to the underside. However, that's problematic using the propane torch that I have because the flame tends to be uh, suffocated and goes out. What I would prefer to use is a large oxypropane torch, which at the moment I don't have. So we'll just have to see how we get on.
so it's looking pretty good looks like we've got good flow of the silver solar right through the joints so I think I'm quite happy with that So now we need to prepare to solder the firebox back plate to the wrapper plate. So I've got it assembled temporarily. I fitted the boiler back plate. It's got four rivets in to each side at the moment to keep it in place. It's aligned with the fire hole. Also the steer holes are in alignment. There's a quarter inch gap, pretty close to a quarter inch gap all the way around for the what will eventually be the foundation ring. So I've just taken a scriber and I've scribed all the way around on the inside so I've got the position It's a nice fit all the way around, so I've got a very close gap. So we'll flux, add more flux, and we'll put some silver solder in and heat it up.
So I went ahead and purchased a large oxypropane torch. So we're going to give it a go on the silver soldering of this uh, firebox back plate and see how we get on. Got penetration all the way around so it looks like a sound joint we'll not know till the hydrostatic test so hopefully it's okay Looks a bit untidy because the silver sword has spread around quite a bit. That's probably because I applied too much flux. However, it doesn't really matter as long as the joint sound. Thanks for watching.